really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it mm -hmm. had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Hello there, this is Seriously Speaking. It's really a pleasure to have my guest on the set today because this set, she's been dressing it for more than two years and I've threatened that someday she's going to end up on this program and indeed she's a guest today. But this is part of our motivational series. I won't bring anybody here just because. It's not just because she's my set dresser, but because she does work that inspires and motivates. And this is the season for all of that. You've set up your New Year resolutions, you've done all kinds of things you want to do. How are you sure that not again I'm going to break all of those things? We'll be meeting my guests in a short while if you don't go away. And remember, you can always catch this show on several platforms. And I'm going to scroll that as I take a break before I introduce to you my guests on Seriously Speaking today. <laughs> Welcome back. For today, my guest is a pastor. Whether she likes it or not, Tokwe Olatero Lagbik is my guest. It's nice to have you on the show. Thank you. And uh, she's been the one doing the damage on the set, so <laughs> six cents, you know. I mean, you've done a lot of sets, right? Right. You dress a lot of sets. Like, um, which ones have you done? That tinsel. Time? Oh, tinsel. Yes. All those beautiful things that we see. That wasn't why I invited you to Seriously Speaking. Oh, really? But I, I just liked what I saw in your environment, six cents. I wanted to believe that you had the sixth sense when it came to decor. Mm. Was that named by accident? Well, it wasn't by accident. Yeah. You never um, told me that. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm getting the opportunity to. Um, I'd, the names, I think I started using the name when I was 17 or so, because I had started wow. business for that many years. Wow. Um, and I was, while shopping for a name, you know, I will tell the truth that I went through the dictionary, I went looking for something awe-inspiring, but mm -hmm. then I found that everything that I was doing um, had a lot to do with the things that came natural to me. Oh. Yeah, and um, every human being, or most human beings, have got five senses, and the things that came natural to me, I decided were my sixth sense. They were the extras. So the so name stuck with me. What were you doing as a businesswoman, business girl at yeah. 17? Um, I started with the sale of underwear. Yeah. I was selling underwear, then I sold ice creams. Why did you do that? Um, it wasn't because your parents couldn't afford it. Because I know you're from a middle class home. Um, I suppose I was restless. And early on, I found that accounting that I was studying was not particularly for me. So with the extra energy that I had, I decided to begin business. So it was while on campus in Unilag? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I officially owned the, f I was actually the first student to own um, a store in the University of Lagos shopping complex. And I ended up owning three before I left. So it was um, a boutique, and then I owned a nail studio, and then I owned a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yes. So business was just, was it from your mother or from your father? Neither of them are business people. Yeah, my mother is an aquaculturist and my father's an engineer. So is that sixth sense? Yes, it is. How did you see the sixth sense that you had? Okay. So you never really know what it is that you are good at doing until you start doing it. And so I don't, I don't want to say that there's a formula or there was an aha moment for me. It wasn't that. It was just that I constantly needed to get my hands doing something, right? And the more I got my hands doing stuff, the more I discovered about myself. New things that you had to do. Yeah. Now, in all of those things, a typical university student, a girl, would be more interested in what, what bag, what party's happening. Why weren't you like that? Okay, so maybe I was wired different. <laughs> <laughs> because um, till date, those things don't interest me. Um, I always am more geared towards looking for opportunities and looking for satisfying the things that satisfy me, and one of which is business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you've done business for this long. Now, um, what, what, the reason I wanted you to come and share with me is you're one of the people I know, first of all, you always speak at very low tones. In fact, you, you never raise your voice. You're always calm, even when, because I've been a client too, and I've yelled at you at different <laughs> times. Why would you do this? How do you manage to stay so calm? Okay. Um, I'm not naturally calm. No. 
No, <laughs> but I you think had to over work the on years, it? yes, I've had to work on um, because relationship is bigger and more key than anything, you know. And so maintaining these relationships is actually paramount. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell me how you worked at it, so I can learn a few things from that. Conscious effort. Conscious effort. For so, example, um, my client is king, and so I would never raise my voice, nor insult my client, nor be rude to my client. Yeah. Um, I cross the line when I do that, yeah. I'm being paid for something, and when I under-deliver, it's just, I mean, I deserve to be yelled at, mm -hmm. yes. And so I take it in a stride, and I try to make the necessary corrections. It wasn't business that brought us together at the beginning, right? And it was actually something that you do, which you call um, orange butterflies. Yes, I found it interesting because when I left your store, after coming in there, they left an orange butterfly on my car. And then it was the beginning of all this WhatsApp craze. And somebody told me they have a group, Orange Butterfly. And I was fascinated. That's why today's woman did a feature on you yeah. at that time. A group of women using their strengths within the social media space. Yeah. But tell me how social, but how your Orange Butterfly began. Okay. Um, okay. The butterfly in itself was a personal mantra. And it was Even before simple. you started this group? Even before I started the group. And, because um, all, your, all your stuff is orange. Yes, you know, and all around. the stuff has got to do with butterflies, yes. You see, we have a lot of orange here. Yes. Orange. There's never any such that there's no touch of orange. True. <laughs> and um, it's simple because the life of business is in the personality that runs it, mm -hmm. you know. And so um, when I started business, it wasn't a fairy tale or a fancy story. And um, my prayer Why? had always been like, um, I started... That's this I sta business I started, or yeah, the, 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 the Sixth Sense, the, the Sixth interior, sense, interior Design business. I started selling cushions from the boot of my car. Things like this? Things like this. I was making them in the open market. I wasn't important at the time. Yeah. And so it wasn't a fancy story. It was... And I never knew how it would evolve. No, did you ever work for anybody? No, I didn't. Wow. No, I didn't. So right out, I mean, I had always been doing business. And so right out of school, I just couldn't imagine waiting 30 days to get paid. <laughs> yes. Do you so, get paid every day on business? Um, pretty much, yeah. Well, sometimes you don't get paid for... No, no well, not, not <laughs> literally getting paid, but I'm doing something, you know, and that... And money's coming in. Money's and coming all of in. So how old is this business? Um, officially, we can say about 18 years. Okay, we're talking now about how the Orange Butterfly came about. Right. Orange was your essence anyway. Yeah. And so... Um, so when, while, all the while I was praying to God to please visit the works of my hands, um, I came across um, a quote and um, it said, what the world called the end, God called the butterfly. Yeah. And um, when you look at the life cycle of the Absolutely. butterfly, you see that it's from this very ugly, Pupa. almost disgusting thing, and it blossoms into... Um, the butterfly, you know. Mm -hmm. And I particularly like the butterfly because um, it, with its gay, its gay colors, it flutters around, it perches, wherever it is it lands, it's beautiful and it's gorgeous. And I just would have, I love, I wanted that to be my life, that wherever it is that I visited, wherever it is that I went, I left something, mm -hmm. yeah. So that was why, that's why I say it was my personal mantra, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. And then it became almost like the, the, the your reason that exactly mm -hmm. it became the life of the business you know we wanted everywhere we went to have left a mark there um, orange because orange is unpretentious yeah orange is one of those colors that doesn't pretend to be another color you can't miss orange mm -hmm. and so we wanted to be different Mm -hmm. and stay different. No, but you talk yeah. about having seen an orange butterfly yourself. Yes, I did. And so, um, well, all the while I was running the business with orange, the orange butterfly being the logo, I never saw an orange butterfly. Oh, now yes. I get it. I just assume that anywhere I see an orange butterfly, the person is part of your group. No. And then you plaster my cat with orange <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> and so what had happened was that um, when the group had started, you know, um, and this I was, was what year? 2014? This was um, three years. We're three years old now. 2014? Yes. Uh -huh. And so um, I had gone to meet my pastors to say that I wasn't ready for this. I didn't know that it was going to be so, for the lack of a better word, hectic. What do you mean by this? This being the ministry. The, okay. Yeah. It's a good place to take a break. Yeah. So I'll come back and talk about this ministry okay. Okay. after my very brief break. All right. Your bio is orange, by the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> we'll be right back with the orange Thank butterfly you. lady. Thank you.
Not only is my guest creative, like she told us before we went on a break, she's turned that energy also into ministry. And you were reluctant to call it a ministry, you said, okay. Yeah. Why not the word ministry? Um, because um, there's some stereotype attached to the word ministry. Does it mean you're a pastor? No, I'm not a pastor. <laughs> I'm not a pastor. Um, I just, I, well, I'm coming to understand that God will use anyone who's willing. Yeah. What's the message in that for everybody? Um, the message is as long as you're available, and that's like the easiest prayer, you know, use God me. God use me. Yeah, and he will use you. There's some, there's some place we have to fill, right? And if we open our eyes and we're open to whatever opportunities, we will find these places. So we should learn to look. Exactly. When we look and determine to see things differently, we will see the difference. Right. And we'll attain that difference. And we would attain. Thank you very much, Dr. You're welcome. I've tried to learn to speak like you, but I can't. But for now, I will speak very gently. Thank I thought you for I was being shouting. <laughs> that's I did what's... talk about seeing the butterfly, though. Oh, that's true. Oh, well. Another time. Another time. Thank you very much for being on the Thank show. Thank you. We'll see you again. For those of you watching, we'll see you again. Same time, same channel next week. Thank Bye. you.